What's up guys, Ducks Opinion here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to get what I consider to be the real ending for Security Breach. Now, we are down here at the very bottom. Now, one thing a lot of videos don't show you is how to get here, okay? You go to Roxanne's Racetrack, and on the left side where you'd find the head, there is a door. Now, you might have been able to go in there before and go downstairs, but you weren't able to access it until you get Freddy and until you get him fully upgraded, meaning you need the Monty part, you need the Chica part, and you need the Roxanne part. Now that's very hard to do because you gotta wait till after 6 a.m. to get a second pass. Now, if you need help with that, I know a glitch where you can save after 6 o'clock and it'll actually push back your time and it'll give you time to actually go do the stuff you need to do. So if that uh, is something you're interested in, check out the description below so you can actually save after 6 o'clock and get another second pass so you can go do what you need to do. So, starting off this, you do not need to hit the generators. You can run right through it. You just need to get Freddy to drop down here because if you don't drop down here with Freddy, um, the weird fun time thing will get you. And damn, does that fun time thing look weird. It is funny because I was actually stuck here for a minute. So if you guys are actually stuck here as well, you have to take the Freddy down. There might be some little perfect way to do it for Gregory. But every time I had Gregory and I dropped down to this spot right here, this guy would kill me. As you see, this is actual electronic. It has fun time Freddy in it. It got Bonnie's head in there. And it's probably a couple more. That's actually a boss. I wish they would have shown how that got made. I wish they would have shown the build up for it. I wish they would have shown the damn guy it's about to show, which I'll just, you know, it's, it's spring trap, glitch trap. And I wish they would have actually shown him any time during the game. This stuff just came out out of nowhere. It's like, they're like, okay, we have to finish the game somehow. Let's just show um, Spring Bonnie or whatever. And let's just show the weird blob thing with, with Funtime Freddy's head and Bonnie's head. But why do we have to wait to see this? Why couldn't we be getting hints on this the whole game? There's a clause from the trailer, but it's not the actual trailer shot. Like, why are we getting this now instead of when it actually went down? It really sucks. So there's going to be three parts to this mini boss. They're not too hard. The first thing you gotta do is go ahead and set him on fire once by that? stopping him from elect Are electricity. Okay? He's like trying to take over and he's electrifying Freddy. To stop him, you have to set him on fire. And so basically you gotta keep an eye on Freddy. Freddy will start getting electrified every single time a new electronic comes to get you. And you have to check the cameras. Spring trap will be in one of the three cameras here and you check it and press the button when he's hurting Freddy to light him on fire. And you gotta do it every time either Monty, Chica, or Roxanne show up. And they're pretty easy to defend, the Roxanne being the hardest. So if, if you get the vents and Chica first, you're lucky. For Monty, you just gotta literally close the vents. If you don't, he starts crawling at you and he grabs you, which sucks, but he's probably the easiest one. So as you see, I was keeping an eye and Glitch Trap got him on this side, so we lit the fire. And he didn't he didn't get he didn't get our Freddy this time. So that scream, I, I guess that'd indicate that um, Monty's gone. So you might want to go ahead and reopen up the vents. <laughs> I don't know if he ever comes back. Maybe you can keep like the power. If it dies, it dies. But it's Roxy. What now Roxy's do? one of the harder ones. Okay. The only thing that I found that works for Roxy is if you can hide behind the bed. But wait a second. Close the door and delay it because you want to get the electrical shock out the way. If you can't get out the way, go ahead and hide. But this is the only place to hide from her. I guess you can be sneaky, but she caught me so many times. And this right here is one of the only places that I found that she can't get to. Like, she'll see you no matter what, even though she doesn't have eyes. But it, it can be super annoying here. And you basically got to wait until, I guess, Freddy gets zapped again. But here's the thing I learned, okay? I, stand, I stood here for about five, ten minutes. And I kept saving Freddy from getting zapped. What I'd do is I'd jump over the bed, I'd go press the button, and I'd run back. And she'd barely miss me. Now, something I didn't know is you actually have to get inside Freddy to make Roxy go away. 
So yeah, I would jump over the bed and I'd be like, oh my gosh, please just let go of Freddy. And I was thinking that Roxy would eventually go away or it would trigger the event. But you actually have to get into Freddy to make Roxy go away. And it took me a minute to learn that, so if that helps you guys out, all the better. So, as I said, I finally decide, screw it, I'm going to get in Freddy because Roxy's not going away. And immediately, she makes a weird noise and runs away. Which is like, why couldn't you do that after you've been here a couple minutes? <laughs> it's a bit annoying, to be honest. And so, as I said before, Chica's definitely Chica and Monty are definitely the easier ones. Look out. When Chica it's comes, Chica. you literally just have to close the door. When Monty comes, you literally just have to close the vent. But Roxanne, you basically just have to jump in Freddy. I didn't realize that. Just make sure, I guess, you prevent him from getting shocked first, distract her with the door, then jump in Freddy. But you can also hide behind the bed if it gets a little too hectic. If you need a time to kind of chill. But after that, that's it. You wait for the last shock, and then we get this cutscene. Why couldn't that cutscene continue? How come we get that very short cutscene, but yet during the intro, we get this huge three minute intro, but we get two seconds of spring trap, glitch trap, and that weird blob abomination that we didn't even know was under here. There's no way of finding it out until now. And while I guess I'll let this play so I can talk about it, I do not like this ending. It came out of nowhere. Like, I much rather it have an ending where these guys don't even exist because they never exist in the whole game. If, like, at some part in the game, it started showing Vanessa, like, capturing parts and putting together a blob and we can secretly reveal that she's Vanny and maybe we beat her before we find these guys and then we eventually come find these guys and we see what they are and maybe we even fight the blob and we actually know what these things are before the last second because we just get to see them for literally three seconds and then he gets destroyed or he gets captured or whatever the hell happened for another three seconds and he's just completely gone. I feel it was really a waste. Like, it's just, I feel it was really rushed. Maybe they spent too much time making the pizzeria and not enough time actually ending the game properly. Like, all the stuff from the trailer, like the dude screaming like, you will burn, both of you. Like, who the hell was that? Was that Monty? Um, Vanny wasn't in the game at all. I heard there was a bug that, that Vanny was supposed to show up more often. She had like a meter and if you hung out somewhere for too long she would show up, but that never happened. That was actually broken and that meter never showed up. So I only saw Vanny once. And so to have like, you know, I have alternate endings. I have a video about that. But to have all these weird alternate endings and to have this like half-ass ending that was barely a cutscene, it left a pretty bitter taste in my mouth to be honest and I just uh really wasn't a fan of it to be honest but let me you guys think you know I think that ending really sucked but I do love the fact that they're happy together here you know I think there's another ending where it's like him Gregory and Vanessa sitting together but it's only like Freddy's head I like that ending a lot better and if I can find it we'll get to it let me know you guys think dust can fly so don't forget to like subscribe I'll see you guys on the flip side let me know what you guys think about ending in the comment below I'll talk to you later. Peace.